are you guys back here it's Bill Mario back with another video y'all <clears throat> and you already know and I'm finna be speaking some real dope like for real you have to watch this video because this video will finna tell you a lot of things about some serious things you already see the caption you already see the name so you know what I'm finna be talking about but before we get into this video like this video subscribe to my channel comment down below how you feel about this video for real how you feel about this video this video is very Mm, my fault. This video, this video is very intense. It's very relatable. This video is serious. You have to watch this video. Comment down below how you feel about this video, so I can make more videos. And y'all, it's early in the morning. How was y'all morning? You know, my morning is good. You know, wake up in the morning, check my stats, and I'm good. You know. But further ado, let's get into this video. Oh, you see a capture. You see the name. You see what I'm gonna be talking about. I need, I just need to let y'all know, stay off the internet, like, for a good week right now, like, stay off the internet for a week or anything, like, I don't know, you can, you can go back on the internet, chill, make yourself laugh, but just get off the internet for a little bit, because I just gotta say, like, bro, seriously, if you, like, going through some mentally health, like, if you fighting some within your mind and all that, they are promoting that all on Instagram. They are promoting that all on the news. That's why I don't, I don't watch the news. You know, it sounds crazy, but to me, to me, how I feel about the news, the news is fake. To me, it is. To me. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the news is fake to me. I'm sorry, but all the stuff that's on the news is really fake. Like, I don't believe nothing what the news say because all they promote is killing, people dying, black people dying, all this and that. Like our world is really not like this. Like our world is a beautiful place, but the things they are promoting is making our world the worst, like bad, like period, point blank. They are promoting all this death and all that. You shouldn't be scared of death. Death is not to be scary. You should be happy that you're getting off this shitty ass earth. You should be happy to get off this matrix. You should be happy to get away from fear and from depression and all this. You should be happy to die. So it's not scary to die. They just build so much fear in you. They trigger that fear in your mindset and your everything for you to be so scared of death or so scared to die when you walk outside. Like our world is not like that. We don't have that much all this going on. We don't have that going on for real. And I feel like the internet is just promoting more. They promoting more, more and more things they promoting. Like Kobe died. Y'all heard Pop Smoke die, all them dying, all these rappers just dying. It's a reason why they dying. It's a reason why they dying. They dying and go all up on the Instagram and you sitting on Instagram getting bodied, sitting here swiping on Instagram, looking at all these deaths. It's really changing your emotions. It's making you fear. It making you sad. It makes you sad. It makes you fear. And why are y'all praising this one person? This one person, everyone dies every day is not promised so as i'm saying why is y'all praising this one person i i know that he come out with good music and all this but you have to think about it you are praising somebody else when you ain't praising yourself when you die do you think the whole world gonna do you like that no they're not all these folks so sad about this one person that died everybody dies that's pure point blank so they just promoting instagram Promote Instagram so you can sit there on Instagram your whole life and just, you know, be controlled, be mind controlled. It, it's a lot of go it's a lot of things going on on Instagram and it's a lot of things going on on Facebook. Facebook is the biggest source of evil. Instagram is the biggest source of evil. Everything on Instagram is really fake. Like I feel like everything on Instagram, fake news, everything. It's just too much going on, and, like, I, I just can't cope with it, and it messes up my emotions. Have y'all ever went on Instagram and was just scrolling, and then it's a vid that makes you mad or changes your emotions? Change your emotions for the whole day to feel like, oh, this, how, all this. It changes your emotions. It can be one post that can make your whole day messed up, and it can be another post that can make your day a whole like make your day happy and all that and it's crazy that they can do something like that change your emotions from one video 
makes you sad the whole day just because that for you. Like, that don't happen 24-7. Like I said, they promoting this. Your emotions, they are promoting all this. They, like, rappers and all that. They, the drip, they got all the shoes. They got all these clothes. But then the inside, they, is, they fighting mental health. They fighting, they going through stuff. And it's serious. So, they promoting all this drip. They promote all this. So, y'all, black folks, for you, so y'all can actually buy this stuff. All these people that's buying these shoes and all that, they really broke. They spending their money on designer stuff and they broke. How's you spending your stuff? Like, I ain't saying a bigger rappers. I'm saying they are promoting us. We look at them as role models. So we look at they drip. So we want it too. Like, literally, I see other rappers like Lil Baby and stuff. They got the drip. And literally, when I go to school, they everybody copy the drip. Everybody got the same clothes Lil Baby be wearing. And it's crazy because you're spending all your money on bull crap that don't matter. You go home and take it right off. So it doesn't matter. Y'all spending y'all money on bull crap and they promoting it for us to stay broke. Why is you spending your money on this bullshit ass clothes, these bullshit ass shoes? It doesn't matter. You like ask yourself, why am I broke? Why am I so broke? Why, like, why can't I have money to myself for a little bit without spending it? Think about it. Stop spending your money on bull stuff. Like, y'all spend your money on shoes that's not going to matter. Y'all spend your money on $200 pairs of shoes, whatever. Y'all spend your money on bull crap stuff when it doesn't matter at all. It's just promoting you more, more, just more and more. Y'all females, y'all buy, y'all, like, y'all get y'all hair done, y'all get y'all nails done. Think about, think about, stop, like, think about. If you stop getting your nails done, think about if you stop getting your hair done and wear natural hair and wear natural nails, you will save a lot of money. Think about buying shoes from Walmart, like the normal, um, some normal nights, some less, like you spending money on $200 shoes. When it's shoes at Walmart, that's cost like $25. You can save so much money. That's a lot of money to be saved. So save your money. Always save your money. That's why Instagram is promoting that. It's promoting you black folks to stay broke. Y'all supposed to have a lot of money, but y'all spending y'all money on stuff. Being a follower, following up on these rappers, following up on these, all these females, all these female rappers and all that. Y'all spending y'all money on bull crap. Like literally, I see city girls and all of them, they wearing all this bull crap. And when I go to school, I see other females that's wearing what city girls I mean, city girls be wearing, it's like they followers. Everything they see they do, they want to do it too. You need to do something different. Save your money. Stop buying material things that's not going to matter throughout your life. For, for real. Think about it, man. Think about it. Ask yourself why you so broke. I promise you, yourself, your higher self, God himself going to tell you why you so broke. Y'all never ask questions throughout your life. Y'all got to ask questions. Always ask questions, man. I always ask questions. Y'all so scared to ask the question because y'all scared to get the answer or y'all scared that y'all won't get the answer. Person, you will get that answer. I always ask myself, why am I so depressed? Why do I have anxiety? Why is this shit going on in my mindset? Cause, because the internet, the shit that I go through, it just, everything on the internet, it promotes that. Music. You, you see other people listen to that music. Oh, that's hard. Okay, let me listen to it too. That whole song, every, all these songs is promoting that shit too. Like, listen, listen. Um, If you broke and you listen to a song that's saying, all right, you broke, but you're going to come up and all that, it's promoting that. It's making you feel like you're so broke and you need money. You don't need money as long as you got a roof over your head, you got clothes on your body. You don't need money. Seriously, you're going to need money when you get older, when you have an older mindset. That's when you're going to need money. But right now, stop worrying about getting money. Worry about building yourself, building a better self to become something bigger in life. Like, like sacrifice right now what you're going to become in the future. Stop worrying about money. Stop worrying about all this. Once you get the mental health, once you fix your mindset, once you get happy, you will know that money is material. Money will come when you are happy. Money will come when you are doing something that makes you happy. 
So that's what I'm saying, man. It's all within your mind. It's all within your mental health. You feel so depressed. You got so much anxiety. And it's not even happening in person. It's happened within your mind. You are thinking all this bull crap. And y'all females, just, it is, it's crazy, though. It's crazy. And they are promoting all this on their Instagram, Snapchat, all some social medias, all, everything. Everything, period, point blank. They're they promoting it on the news, making you feel like death is scary, making you think that this earth is like this. This earth is not like this. This earth is not like this, bro. Everyone get taught everything. Everyone... People come out the womb and get taught like Dwayne Wade's son. How I feel about Dwayne Wade's son, man. Like, literally, he came out the womb thinking about some sexual shit. Like, they had to teach him that. They tell my all right, we, we, um, look, we look for answers in school. We look for answers everywhere, but that was his choice. This nigga is 12 years old right now. Ain't no 12-year-old finna fucking... Def ain't, um, I'm sorry for cursing, but ain't no 12-year-old finna just like choose his life choose who we want to be a girl or a boy they had to promote that they had to promote force them to do that seriously they had to force them to do that so they can get that fame get all that type of fame get that fame and make the internet more popular bro seriously they are promoting transgenders 2025 i promise you predicting the 2025 2025 when we get grown, every kid right now that's my age, when we get grown, us men gonna, it's gonna be hard to find a real female because do you know when you turn a transgender, they change your male, they change your male to a female on your license. So you will never know if it's a female or if it's a male. You will never know. So that's why it's gonna be hard. That's why they promoting it right now. So these little kids can think they are, right, you can be a female. And all, they promoting that. Why, as a child, why do you have to hear about that? Matter of fact, as a child, you shouldn't even know the word transgender or gay. You shouldn't know none of them words. The only words you should know, the only letters you should know is ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and everything else instead of the word gay. Your child shouldn't know the word gay. Your child shouldn't know the word transgender. You know? But it, this is a whole different world. We are living in 2020 right now. This is getting worse and worse. And y'all don't see it. Y'all see it within. It's all within your mental health. It's not all within. It's not going on and physically. It's going on mentally. And once you get it into mentally, it's starting to happen physically. All these people in it. I mean, all this music and all this stuff. They are promoting drugs. They are promoting, I'm not even gonna lie. They are promoting drugs. They are promoting sex. They are promoting big booty girls. They are promoting all this. Like y'all say that these rappers care about our world. They don't care about our world. They just care about the money. They care about they sales. They care about they sales and the money. They don't care about our world. And the rappers, they, they don't even know that they terrorize. They, they don't... Mm, I'm sorry. They don't even know that they are terrorizing this world. They don't know that. They just normal human beings, just like us. But in the in the mentally world, if you tell me they are destroying our world, they don't care about our world. How they care about their world? How do they care about our world when they promoting all this big booty sexual and all this, calling our girls bees, calling our girls thoughts and all that? Knowing our females is not like this. Our females is beautiful. Our females is powerful. And they, we should treat our females the most. These females make us. These females break us. These females make us. We come out their womb. We should respect them more than anything. And nowadays, we are not respecting these females. Because the things they look at, like, look, look what they doing. They shaking booty and all this. The more city girls promote it, the more they going to start doing it. Once they can get through your mental health, it's over with. It's it's physically now. They they're gonna start doing it physically now. We should be having the most respect. The most respect we should have is females. It's like we all going against each other. In this world that we living in right now, we all going against each other. Broke, rich, anything. We are going against each other. Grades, money, 
I got more money than you. Now I'm better. No, you're not better than me, bro. We got the same mindset. Mentally health. We die the same. We're not better than each other. God made us equally. But all this matrix and stuff is building this world. Like, why? We're not from this world. Why are you... Why are you living a human being life? You are not a human being. You are a God, bro. We are not from this earth. Just because we was born on it. No, we are not from this earth. We are from another dimension. Stop living a human being. Stop living a human being life. If you are living a human being life, you are you are going you are going to live in fear. You are going to live in fear. All that. Live in fear. All that. God didn't put us on this earth to live in fear. God didn't put us on this earth to praise another Jesus. I'm, I'm not disrespecting Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm not disrespecting him. I don't believe in Jesus. I believe in God within myself. I believe that God is within all of us. I believe God is a higher conscious. God is everywhere. God is anything. I love God and I he just helped me a lot. But Jesus, we are sitting here trying to find happiness in a book that's not even going to matter. We can sit back and just be happy by meditating for 10 minutes. Find God within us and get answers from us just meditating. And we could just got to go to a church and spend our money, give out money to get answers. Answers is within you. Ask why you going through depression. Ask why you so broke. Ask that and you will get that answer instead of asking the Jesus that y'all claim that is real, ask him, ask him why you so broke. Go to the church, read Bible, do anything. Ask him why you so broke. This, you won't I just know it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy. How, like God do not want us to pay bills. God don't want us to be on this earth paying bills, worrying about money, worrying about our bills, worrying about being homeless. God don't want us to live in fear. God doesn't want us to... Just like live in fear and anxiety and depression. He don't want to go through, like, he don't want us to go through this. It's a, it's a, it's just a decision. How you want to live your life. It's just how you want to live your life. You want to live this life or you want to live yourself. God don't want us to live in another body. God don't, it's just, it's just so wild. Like our world changed a lot. I know y'all remember them days when we was kids, we had no technologies at all. Like we had to cope with ourselves. The music we, the music that we are listening to back then, it was not like that. The only thing we was learning was the movies that was teaching us. As we progress, us children, we watch all the scary movies, watch all that. And then progress fear. Then when you get older, that's when fear comes at you. It's just crazy, man. Y'all just got to stay woke. I love y'all. We out. Peace.